MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Jeff, it's good to be here at Jones and Shipman today. This machine we're going to look at first is the Ultra Grind 2000. Can you just give us a little bit of an insight as to what the machine does? I can see it's a cylindrical grinder, but a bit more detail. Okay, it's basically, as you say, a cylindrical grinder. Uh, this particular machine has a turret style head where at the moment we have two grinding wheels one but we could go to four and that can be a combination of external grinding wheels, internal grinding wheels. So that would rotate through 180 degrees? That will rotate through 180 degrees and it has a hearth coupling therefore you can position in one degree increments anywhere in those uh, angles. It's quite interesting to see the part that's on here today because that, that gives us a good idea of what you would do on this machine. What is it? Uh, basically it's a part for air conditioning to help keep us cool. They're getting bigger and bigger. Uh, customers around the world are grinding these. They're looking for high quality, good finish accurate parts to improve their quality as well. Because it would be turned first and then it's put onto this machine and this wheel here, or the first wheel, is grinding the first end and the second wheel the second end? Exactly, that's exactly what it's doing. So we're positioning the head in order to take a position reading because obviously things may move slightly part to part and then the head rotates to the grinding angle for the right hand end carries out a number of operations and then we'll rotate to the left hand side and we'll move down to the left hand end of the component. Okay, let's talk about the machine, the, uh, the, ter the, the length of the part that we could actually grind and the size of the wheels and how you dress them, that type of thing. This machine is a heavy duty version, so this will take two meters between centers, 2,000 millimeters, the component up to 500 kilos, 1,100 pounds, uh, for those in the in America and uh, the diameter we can go up to sort of 350 400 diameter as well and what can you achieve what are you grinding to here well uh, this particular customer that uh, has this machine is grinding to 10 microns without gauging on components 24 hours a day seven days a week you couldn't turn that uh, I don't think so, but maybe they'll tell you to come. <laughs> well, the, the, the surface finish is, is critical as well. Surface finish is um, down in the 0.2, 8 micro inch area, uh, as a matter of course. So, on such a large component, that's quite difficult as well with the balance forces. And what would be the cycle time for grinding both ends of this part? Uh, to grind all of that, you'd be somewhere in the region of uh, 25, 30 minutes. And would you have to redress the wheels during that? You would. There's a lot of material to come off of there, so it does need to keep the wheel sharp. Uh, diamond dressing positions where we can dress both of the grinding wheels. But you would be grinding, uh, sorry, dressing every diameter at least. You would. And how long does it take to dress? Uh, about 30, 40 seconds. So it's not, it's not a long uh, process? No, it's, it's not a long process. And of course, the beauty of the machine is it's all automatic, so the, the operator doesn't have to do anything. Now we travel around a lot of, lot of machine shops in the UK, we don't see many of these. What, why is that? Is it, is it obviously application driven, but they're a little bit different? Yeah, I, the, every, this particular customer came to us with a requirement to grind a particular size. We developed the machine around that particular requirement and have taken it on into other fields as well. Control's a big factor. Are you, do you, are you programming offline on something like this or are you doing it at the control? You tend to do it at the control. We can do it offline, but we use a, a digitised system where the operator will manually touch on and just record the position. But the control itself is a, a FANUC control touchscreen, latest control that we have. Um, the operator can see his programme, work his way through, Input dead straight in the, forward. Dead straightforward, just touch it, fill in the data that you want, proceed through to the end, save it, and that's done. And that can be done while the machine's operating. It can, can it? Yeah, so we could program another part if we wished. 
Okay, now what about what about how this machine is put together? It's, it's done here, obviously, in Leicester, yeah. but what goes into the build of it to give you the accuracies that you've spoken about? Well, it's the whole construction, the, the type of casting that we use, the material, they're uh, very high quality castings. The bed is uh, the full length of the table, so the table is always supported at all times. Um, some machines you may have some overhang but this one's fully supported. And is it scraped? It's hand scraped, uh, tersite ways, hand scraped by our fitters here in Leicester. And do you have scales on this machine? All, yes, definitely. Scales on the z-axis, on the x-axis, there's encoders on the b-axis, on the c-axis, so yeah we have uh, most of them covered. Brilliant. And is, it, is this just the 2000, is there bigger machines and smaller machines in this range? We do a smaller version, we do a one metre machine, that's more for the uh, general purpose work, but again, still with the turret head, with the capability of running one, two, three or four wheels at a time, but slightly smaller components, obviously. And if I was looking to, uh, to, to grind a component like this, how would I go about knowing what speed to turn the component at, what speed the wheel is going to run? Is that through my experience or is the control going to help me with that? There are, um, it's mainly experience, but the, uh, we have a range of uh, sort of fees that you can work within. But like most grinding, there are no rules, you make it up as you go along, I think. And, and the more experience you've got, the better the results tend to be. Yeah, thank you for that one. Uh, yes. Uh, On that point, thank you for your time, Jeff. <laughs> no problem. Thank you.